Hey guys, this is Omer from MLS.com with a quick first impressions gameplay video for Ica, 3D fantasy PvP MRPG developed and published by T3 Fun. I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Ica or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MLS.com on the link below. So let's pick our word, Arcan. I feel like the one with Arcana or Arcane, but no, they just forgot the E or the A at the end, and they rolled with it. Solid. So this is actually a really old MRPG back in 2010, so it's not really that old, but 2010 nowadays is not super young either. It used to be published back on GPotato when I first played it myself, and once GPotato got bought by WebZen slash combined with WebZen, this game went to T3 Fun, who is probably best known for Sword of the New World, or it's called uh, Granada Espada now. Select the nation, we got the Venov, Lenar, Fioner, Alturius, and Austrians. We're gonna play the Austrians because they got a little crown next to it and I want to be the king, so we're gonna play on that. And I don't know why you play on a PvE server when the game is really... It, it does bill itself as a PvP MRPG. And I remember back when it was on Cheap Potato, they did label 1000 vs 1000 PvP pretty much everywhere as like the, the reason to play the game. So there are some PvP elements. Unfortunately though, I cannot imagine there are 2000 players online in this game to create a 1000 vs 1000 environment. So let's make our character right now. We have a... Uh, Warrior, Paladin, Rifleman, Dual Gunner, Warlock, and Cleric. And I, I kind of want to play the Cleric because she's like the most lolly out of them, lolly out of all of them, for sure. Well, can we turn her around? Yes, we can. Though we can't put the camera where I want it, unfortunately. And you can tell right away too, the classes are gender locked, which is unfortunate because it's a really poor mechanic that a lot of games do use, including newer games like Black Desert. But yeah, uh, yeah, I can't even see the goods. I, I don't really want to play a Cleric only because I, I don't want to play support. So we're gonna play, it's, I don't wanna pick you even though I, oh, oh, we can zoom in. Oh, yes, yes! Hold on, no, I can't get the camera, uh, well, we can see, we can see a decent amount, all right? We can, we can use our imagination for the rest. So I'm gonna play as, I'll go with Dual Gunner. All right, we got the, we got the side boob actually going with her anyway. And let's play, let's play her. Can we zoom in? Yeah, we can zoom in. All right, we're gonna play those boobs. And our name will be Yurimote. And I love how in these fantasy games you have like gunners and dual gunners. It, it totally throws off the mix because it's supposed to be a fantasy game with swords and magic, but you got guns. At least they're not like crazy sci-fi guns because some games do go with that. And given that it's an old game, you're not going to get too many character customization options. And let's go. Let's see what hairstyles we got. And I like how the style also jives with the same hair color. So we have five styles, and we're going to go with this one because I kind of like it. No, you can change the color too. And my face. Let's go. We'll go with the mean face, the angry face. And we're going to start, oh, you can start in the fields or the city. Let's go with the fields so we can start killing stuff right away. That name is already in use. Why is this name in use? Come on. It's an old, here, let's go with fields. Remote X is in use? Remote X, if, if that's in use, I'm all that flooring, boys. All right, we're good, we're good. The number in the name is going to make it so we can play it. So there's a security question, a pin number rather. I, I don't like when games do this. They should let you skip these if you want to, but you can't. And we're going to enter one all the way through. And to protect people from getting keylogger, though I don't think anyone would want to hack your Ica account because it cannot be that valuable. Let's we'll keep that tutorial, or rather the little story over there. I do remember playing this in 2010, and it seemed like a decent fancy MRPG then. And I'm kind of thinking of, thinking of it now. It just seems like it's really dated. And if you're gonna play a game of T3 Fun, off the top of my head, I'd rather play Sword the uh, Granada Spada because it has awesome music from the folks that made the Sound 10 people who did the Ragnarok Online music. So. I do, I do remember in, uh, enjoying Granada Spotted quite a bit, even though it's it's quite easy and it's very automated. But we'll see what Ica looks like today, because I have not touched this game in ages. Bit of a long loan screen there. I've always known something, but is this really happening? Oh, it's it's happening. Graphically, it's not bad. You are an Aten, said the messenger. Re Re Region Sheen, the great province. I can't, I'm slow at reading. The place where human. Oh my god, to lift Lakia to the heavens and protect us from the Zirika. But the Zirika have begun to threaten the land once more. Man, this game does not give you much time. That ain't matched with Pran. Oh my god, I have the power. I got lost three times. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go. It's going too quick anyway. We missed most of it. All right. Graphically, for a 2010 game, it looks quite good. And I'm running at 2560 by 1440, so definitely impressed with the visuals. And will we see anyone else playing the new Bay Area? Please tell me somebody else plays. Oh yeah, there we go. A+. Plus, though we don't... All right. Clearly, uh, when you have your revealing like on the sides like that, it clearly gives extra defense, all right? There's a tactical reason for it. So when you kill some young boars right off the bat, boosh, dual gunning, look at that. Look at this style. I'm killing those boars in style. You it's not like you just aim both guns and shoot. You shoot and you spin around and shoot too. And of course, you go to combat with heals, you know, why not? Are those red heals? Are those the expensive heals? I got the goods. Kill some more boars. 
Do I really have bullets? Is that- Oh my god. There are bullets. You start with a thousand bullets, it looks like. I hate when games do this, whether it's Ragnarok Online with arrows, whether it's Ica with bullets. Yeah, you gotta restock those bullets every once in a while, unfortunately. It seems really silly, but games do it for whatever reason. I prefer just to have, you know, infinite ammo on them. So we have abilities too, of course. Uh, one, two. It's, they do have cooldowns. You can sidestep. Let's do the sidestep. Uh, we did the sidestep, but we we didn't really sidestep. Let's see what it does. Uh, dodge is the next attack. So it's just a guaranteed dodge, it looks like. So you want to obviously time that with uh, powerful attacks and PvP and stuff. Unfortunately, there's no animation for it. It'd be kind of cool if there was. So are there any quests over here? There should be. All right, let's talk to uh, the save point. Really? They're called save points? Guard Diego. Have you seen anyone He's voice acting. Wow. So save points, I guess, are bind points. Simple as that. Making that bacon. If you have time, I'd, I could use some help with something. It's, I'm at my wits end. What could he possibly need? Sure, I have a little while before I need to report for duty. What's wrong? There's trouble brewing here at Overvoid Farm. We supply much of the produce. Recently, however, imports of cheaper vegetables have been on the rise, causing dramatic... Wow, there, there's some trade issues over here. Some econ problems. They're forced to breed boar for meat. All right. Lower veggie profits. All right, what are we going to do? Just, like, cancel the trade deals? All right, catch a few runaway boars. Nice, I'm going to get some boars. Uh, translation is actually pretty solid, too. You'd be surprised. A lot of these Korean games, once they come to the West, they always stay poorly translated. Here, at least, they're pretty decent. Making bacon. Uh, I have 30, uh, 38 minutes to do this, or I just tell me which direction to go. Not 38 minutes. Those 38 meters. So we kill some young boars now. See my attacks again. Let's see the character sheet too over here. Again, impressed by the visuals for the for this game. It's unfortunate that we're not seeing any new players jumping in over here. So the only players you're going to see in this game, of course, going to be the veteran players from ages ago. Uh, I mean, it just it is always sad to see a newbie area completely empty. Like one other player plus, not even one. And there's so many factions too, right? So when you have that many factions, even less interaction. Unless they all start in the same area, I forgot. Uh, you can see the game's world map over here. Man, these boars are getting wrecked. My level increased already. So we should be level level 4 already, so pretty quick leveling. Uh, they actually do still update this game too, so it's not like it's an abandoned game. I do believe the level cap right around this video is level 99. If not now, they're, up, they're releasing the update to get to level 99 relatively soon, in uh, May of 2016. So they do they do stuff they which is nice that raw aru aru raw lar that is a tough word to pronounce oh man it's not even a it's not even an exclamation mark or a question mark when you complete it's a it's a sideways s it's not even an infinity sign it's a sideways s it could be an infinity sign actually for repeating quests maybe making that oh you know, whoops I closed it out let's do it again Have you seen anyone suspicious? making bacon Diego. They were not that strong. Don't you love when, he, when she moves her hands? The guns disappear and they come right back. Of course. So no more, uh, no more voice chat, unfortunately. I see. Let's get those rewards. Red exclamation mark. Those are that's not even a yellow exclamation mark. Look at that innovation, boys. Talk to you again. It, it does seem a little bit like hassle to get that quest. I want to click on that PC and have that quest menu right there. There's like an ex oh my god. Look at that jump too. Don't you love their un obscenely unrealistic jump in these games? Unfortunately, no boob physics. Oh, there's a little bit. A tad. But, like, I'm literally jumping, like, uh, this guy's full height and a half. That's, that's like, totally impossible. All right, we'll talk to you again. I, I, I want to get that quest. Quest. The missing comrade. So, in a lot of games, when you just talk to them the first time, it's, it's, you get the quest much quicker. Here, you got to go through this, like, whole chat process. In most of the games, the chat is, like, one window. And let's be real, nobody's going to read these anyway, so it just, it just makes a lot more sense. I accepted the comrade quest. Was that it? Do I just hand it in now? My Gucci? I found Billy? Did I find him? No, not yet. Alright, I gotta find Billy, boys. He's gonna be over here. Even before he's right next to him. Like, literally right next to him. Let's see. How far could Billy be? Let's go. More more boars. I wanna see the skill system, too. Uh, we have our return, which is basically our hearthstone. It brings us back to wherever we saved. Auto attack! Oh, I love it, boys! Let's see this. There, Z. So if I click on him... I wanna see if it's like an auto hunt system. PvP on. Yo, we're gonna flag it. Oh, I can't flag my PvP right now. So auto attack does not attack automatically for whatever reason. Here, maybe if we click him on once. Is that auto attack is that what auto attack means? Let's turn it off now. Will I stop? Yeah, you will stop, so I'm not sure why you would ever want to have that off, because it keeps attacking otherwise. I thought for a second it'd be like an automated combat system that we saw in uh Karos Returns, as well as a bunch of those Chinese MMORPGs, but nope. Uh, we still have to go here. We'll kill this boar through real quick. We'll use uh, attack number two, the corrosive round. And boosh. Does a little more damage. Let's do a sidestep. Gonna look at that sick juke right there. Easiest juke of my life. 
received copper. I'm not sure why, what are boars doing with copper anyway? This guy might need some help. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Examine that corpse. Alright, apparently that was Billy. Uh, it just said, like, w the corpse of William Mays. Pretty sure I had to find some dude named Billy, and I, I found some guy named William Mays. Which, it's, it, I, I found Billy Mays over there. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Alright, we get to hand this quest back in. Look at this wonderful jump animation. We can look at that booty while we go. Of course you fight in heels, guys. Why not? Okay, for skills. So basic skills. Interesting. So do you actually gain skill points over here? Because that basic attack is level 1? Or are these permanently stuck at level 1? Uh, you, so you have these little bubbles thinking they level up, but I, they probably don't. Here we have 3 skill points. Do I have to... Oh my god, don't let me talk to a skill trainer. Please. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're charging. We're, oh, we're, doing, we're doing our return skill. We don't want to do that. So no, it looks like you have seven pages of skills. Not sure why they're in separate pages. Hand this quest back in. Yeah, I found uh, I found your guy. All clear. Talk. Get through. Oh no, I don't want directions. No, I want to get the quest. So very, I would say a bit of a clunky interface, and a little unnecessary for these quests over here. I found the body next to a huge rock near Garrafield. Found William Mays. How could this be? I guess he fought those boars and he kind of sucked, so he died. He didn't turn his auto attack on when AFK, so he got wrecked by those boars. Next, next, next. This is really unnecessary. This that whole window. All right, we did that. We got Battle Academy dice. Not just below. I can't do that apparently. We can, can we use dice? Dice have a three second cooldown. All right. Oh, it just rolling for. If you want to roll full loot. Where are we going next? So it, I, I hate that you can't just get skills over here. You gotta, I guess we gotta talk to some kind of NPC. Prange are the game's uh, pets, I believe. Though we don't have access to that right now. Inspiration quests to be implemented later. Apparently uh, inspiration quests have not been in the game for uh, five years. See that world map, uh, definitely a big world. Close that out. There is, there are players still in the game. I mean, the game would not exist without players. I did read people were saying that in the crossroads and the busy PvP areas, you can find people to fight. It just unfortunate that the player base is tiny, and you really can't brag about a thousand versus thousand PvP game when a thousand players aren't even online at once. I, I guarantee you there aren't a thousand players in this game. A and the, the problem with that too is they further segmented the player base to PvE and PvP, and when your game's player base is that small, it just it just does not make sense. I mean, if they worked on the boob animations, it, I, I'd say it'd be a better game. But then again, uh, Boob animations alone cannot carry a game as we saw from uh, from Scarlet Blade. Uh, rest in pepperoni, Scarlet Blade. Best game ever, 10 out of 10. Alright, we're gonna kill a couple more boars and then walk around. Oh, he's got a question for me now, I'm Gucci. Did I miss that earlier? Did that have to be like level 5 to get it? I'm already level 5. Air Carrick Caravan to stay in something for the next one minute. That's like a world thing, it's not really relevant to me. So red might mean like story quest and green might not be because we saw green uh, exclamation in the background too. I, I hate like you put your cursor over here, but there's no option. Like, why is that even there? It just it just seems like it's really jankly and poorly done. Oh man, music got serious business. Next, do you know do you know what killed Billy? Why are we calling him Billy? Like, I don't I don't even know this guy. I gotta call him William. All right, we're not on like abbreviation basis just yet. All right, obtain event Ica talent. You must it must have been a boar. yo he tied to a boar, not a regular boar, a serious business boar, mutated boar. That sounds pretty dangerous. Not really. Oh, th that was the baby's jump ever. If I do a regular jump, it's like 10 times higher. You are much more courageous than me. Yo, apparently this guy's this guard is too pussy to take on a, a boar. Yo, this guard. Guard Diego, man. Real pansy. Biggest pansy in A. Let's go kill some uh, mutated boar. Wonderful jump animations. So, it, interestingly enough, you're not seeing any gold spam either, because uh, almost nobody plays this game. This whole- we have, we have yet to see a single person, so we're playing a, a single player MRPG as far as I'm concerned. Alright, let's see if this boar's any difficult. Guaranteed it's gonna be super easy. Oh, we can do our Jukarino too. Oh, we did it. Eh, he's got a little more HP, but he's got- we got him easy. See my inventory? Level rewards box, nice. Got a bunch of goodies. Badge of the Adventurer. Upon completion, received times 4 quest XP. Wow, that's actually really good. Uh, let's go and equip that. Why not? So every time we do a quest, you you get four times experience. Holy crap! So yeah, the game is uh, it's it's gone to a point where they want players to level up very quickly. I guess they want everyone to participate in PvP, so that they're trying to make the early experience as fast as possible. Should grab those earlier. Old currency can be used in the talent shop. Uh, might as well use it too. Piece of the Kilium. Can't do anything with that right now. So you can open this again later. 
We got the Presence Ring of Ica. Wow, you can see how broken that is too. If I can use that right away, it literally increased my HP by like almost double when we equip this bad boy. Uh, it's not a spare bag. I want to equip this. Cannot worry yet. It can't be traded. It goes on your ring. It goes on your F finger. It tries to say finger, but they put it in two separate lines. So why can't... There we go. We double left click instead of right click. You, you'd think it'd be like a right click, but no, it was it was double left click. New players. Oh, does not have inventory? Nice. We gotta open this one too. All right. Now we got. Oh my God! Boxes with more boxes in it. All right. We are we are a dual gunner. Let's see what OP gear we got. Oh my God! Unbelievably broken. Increased physical damage by 52 and more HP. So you can see how broken like like you can see how much stronger we just got already by equipping the basic gear. And that reminds me very much. Oh my God! Look at my glowing weapons already. It reminds me of uh, RF Online where it feels like a private server because you get really, really strong gear early on. And it's kind of sad because it makes it feel like a private server when it's not. I mean, this is the official server for the game, but it's gotten to the point where it's super, super easy. All right, might as well loot this. What else did we get anyway? Oh my god, OP gear over here too? Plus five. Look at, look, look at my HP now, boys. Oh my god, I got like totally broken. Oh man, equip everything. Here we go. I am OP. So I went from like 500, like 400 HP to 2,300, and we got a pretty OP gun early on too. So let's go one shot everything. Yes, we went from doing like 30 damage to dealing a lot more. So they made this game super, super easy. It's not even close to challenging. So if you do play this game, it feels like a private server more than anything else, especially now when you equip this gear. Unbelievably easy. It's such a weird. Uh, I mean, I feel like we got more clothes on. So honestly, it seems like a net minus if you ask me. Before we had like this middle area revealed, but now we don't. So you might want to take the top part off just for that, because you're still going to one-shot everything. But it'll be, you know, you get a better view otherwise. But if you feel like feeling really OP in a game and you don't want to take it too seriously, hey, I got free and just, you know, you can mess around in it. I think it's like a 2 GB download. But uh, I, I don't know, I feel like a game's, the leveling process in the game has to be fun for you to play it. It just, if they make you skip it all like this, you might as well go the four story route and just start like near max level. Like why make people go through these hoops when it's unbelievably stupidly easy like this, when they give you all this OP gear? I don't know why RF Online does it either. It's obscenely easy and rather silly. All right, is there, is there, more importantly, is there a slash dance animation? Nope, not from there at least. Can we see, uh, community settings maybe? Oh, actions, actions. Yes, we can sit, cry, laugh. Yes, let's see the dance. Oh, shake that booty. All right, guys, that is uh, that is Ica. If you want to check it out, it is free to play. Unfortunately, a uh, very small player base. So I would say skip this one for sure. Unless you want to feel really OP and just kill some boars <laughs> with some really OP gear. But again, RF Online has that as well. But yeah, if you do want to learn more about it or play it yourself, do check out the full review on Emos.com, on, Emos uh, on the link below. Anyway, guys, later. Yes, sir. Later, guys.